So, by this video, we will discuss about the pond fertilization. So, the pond fertilization is one of the key point in the maintenance of the pond. Pond fertilization is very important for the increasing the carrying capacity of the pond and in nursery and rearing ponds, fertilization is aimed at developing natural food and for the developing of natural food like phytoplanktons and saving artificial food, pond fertilization is very important because phytoplanktons are the primary producers of the pond which are, which are carry out the photosynthesis and converting the inorganic components into organic nourishment. So, with the help of the fertilizer of the pond, we can increase the phytoplankton level of the pond. The significance of the pond fertilization lies in the cultivation and propagation of various fish food organisms for the cultural fish. So the utilization of energy is related to the length of the food chain. The shorter the food chain, higher the rate of energy transfer. So in case of pond fertilization, the fertilizers, fertilizers used in fish culture ponds belongs to two categories. One is the organic, first type of fertilizers which are called as organic manure and second one is the inorganic manure or organic fertilizers and inorganic fertilizers. So the fertilizers which are the animal and plant origin, the fertilizers of animal and plant origin are called as organic manure and after adding such type of fertilizers in the pond, the microbes, the microbes like bacteria decompose them to release some important contents like K, N, P and C. That is the level of potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus and calcium is increased with the help of these fertilizers by introducing the organic manure or fertilizers in the pond and which are then utilized by the phytoplanktons. These then are utilized by the phytoplanktons which is a food for fish. So it is kept at the corner of the pond. So at the time of apply, applying this organic manure, it is kept at the corner of the pond so that it slowly releases nutrients in pond water. Then this can the compost fertilizer obtained from the rooter materials. Compost fertilizer obtained from the rooter materials is applied at the rate of 2000 kg per hectare for three times with interval of three months. So these organic manures or compost Compost fertilizers obtained from rooted materials is applied at the rate of 2000 kg per hectare for three times with interval of three months. So which are different advantages of this organic manures? That is, the advantage of applying these organic manures is to improve the soil structure. The first and most important importance or advantage of this application of organic manure that with the help of the application of this organic manure is it can improve the soil structure and also the water holding capacity of the soil is increased also the base exchange capacity is also increased or the base exchange capacity also can be improved so second advantage of this organic manure that is farm yard manure or compost is the best source for maintenance of soil 
organic matter at higher level. So farmer manure or which can also called as compost. This compost was the best source for maintenance of soil organic matter at higher level. This is second advantage. We can also found that the application of this type of use of this type of organic fertilizers this use of this organic fertilizers has the advantage of converting unusual surplus waste this is very important converting this can converting with the help of this method we can convert unusual surplus waste into use advantage of the application of organic manure that is it can convert the convert we can convert unusual surplus waste into beside that the organic fertilizers are potential source of micronutrients these organic fertilizers are potential source of micronutrients that is npk organic fertilizers with the help of this use of these fertilizers the npk level nitrogen phosphorus and potassium level of the pond is increased that is these organic fertilizers are the sources of micronutrients there are having varieties of organic manures they are having different types of organic manures in that some of the organic manures like pests and urine of livestock livestock and poultry pests and urine of livestock and poultry pig manure which contains this pig manure contains much organic matter and other nutrition element like npk pig manure contains much organic matter and also having npk pig manure is a fine complete manure that is the waste material of pigs are delicate with moisture content and from 70 to 77% moisture content and also containing more nitrogen more nitrogen than other livestock that is over livestock waste then there is an also you can use the cattle manure cattle manure that is cattle dung and this cattle urine contains again more nitrogen than pig urine in the form of hippuric acid in the form of hippuric acid this cattle cattle dung having 70 to say 85% moisture 15 to 25% organic matter 2 to 5% mineral matter and 78 to 90% carbohydrates 19 9 to 18% crude protein these components are found in this cattle manure this is also very important and useful for the application in the pond then i can have poultry manure this poultry manure it includes waste of chicken ducks goose and this poultry manure rich in organic and inorganic matters rich in organic and inorganic matter solid and liquid excreta excreted together there is having the mixture of solid material and liquid material and hence there is no urine loss is found in this case in the use of this poultry manure this poultry manure con contains that is having 21.5% crude protein 1.9% ether extract 13.4% fibers 14 42.9% n2 and some free extract is also found in this manure then about the goat and sheep manure goat and sheep manure the chemical composition of the excreta of this goat and sheep has a dry matter content of 42 to 48% and also the sheep and goat manure contains about 
नाइट्रोजन वन परसेंट पी टू ओ फाइव टू परसेंट के टी ओ लाइक कंपोनेंट देन अबाउट द सिल्क वॉर्म ड्रेस दिस सिल्क वॉर्म ड्रेस इज अ कंपोस्ट ऑफ सिल्क वॉर्म फेसेस और द कंपोस्ट ऑफ सिल्क वॉर्म वेस्ट मटेरियल एंड ऑल्सो हैविंग मोल्ड रेसिड्यूज मोलेब्री रेसिड्यूज दीज आर कंबाइंडली कॉल्ड एज सिल्क वॉर्म ड्रेस and this particular manure is rich in organic matter and also having a rich in nitrogen again about the green manure this green manure is all wild grasses leguminous plants vegetable wastes leaves are used as a fertilizers all wild grasses cultivated plants of the compost family then leguminous plants some vegetable wastes are termed green manure this green manure nowadays vegetable waste and other non toxic plants and uh, with soft stems and leaves are also used to fertilizer as used as a fertilizer this manures Rot and decompose easily. They can be decomposed easily. Green manure can decompose easily, so we can use in the pond as a pond fertilizer. Next one, compost. Compost manures are the decay refuse like roots, twigs, leaves, crop residues decomposed with animal waste called as compost. This called as compost. We can also use this compost. then about horse manure this horse manure horse dung consists of 76% of moisture and 21% organic matter and 4% of mineral matters this dung of horse mainly comprise of nitrogen p2o5 and again k2o these are some organic manures we can use in the pond for as a fertilizer again the second type of the fertilizers which are called as inorganic fertilizers secondly we can also use inorganic manure or inorganic uh, inorganic fertilizers these inorganic fertilizers are called as chemical fertilizers these include various inorganic chemicals then this inorganic manures are also referred to as chemical fertilizers inorganic manures are also called as chemical fertilizers they are having some advantage of use of this inorganic manures that is the main types or the main importance or advantages of the inorganic manures that is the exact composition is an advantageous the exact composition of inorganic fertilizers is advantageous then fast mineralization gives quick effect mineralization is very fast giving quick effect on pond productivity they can used in small quantities we can use this manures in a small quantities there are different types of organic manures used in the used as a pond fertilizer fertilizers fertilizers like phosphorus fertilizer potash fertilizers nitrogen fertilizers so micronutrients we can use these fertilizers as a inorganic manure in pond so first of all about the phosphorus fertilizers phosphorus fertilizers there are seeing in a different type of phosphorus fertilizers like ssp tsp single super phosphate or triple super phosphate slags these are some phosphorus fertilizers which can used or uh, apply in the pond for the effective growth of algae how can we apply these fertilizers in the pond the application rate is about 25 to 30 kg per hectare for basic slag 114 kg per hectare for ssp 57 kg per hectare for tsp 
so these are some application limit of this phosphorus fertilizers and we can use this phosphorus fertilizers as inorganic fertilizers in the pond then about the potash fertilizers potash fertilizers potassium is also an essential nutrient element of the plant so if a new pond is built or when it is without mud the addition of nitrogen fertilizers also potash fertilizers very become very important so this can favor the growth of submerged plants the submerged plants as a natural food by application of potash fertilizers the growth of submerged plants can be increased potassium fertilizers mixed with the phosphate fertilizers potassium fertilizers mixed with the phosphate fertilizers and supplied in water as a potash fertilizers then i have about the third type of inorganic fertilizers that is nitrogenous fertilizers the soil normally contains a good amount of nitrogen but we can also use nitrogen fertilizers like liquid ammonia ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate sodium nitrate urea as a nitrogen fertilizers because nitrogen contained different in different rate this nitrogen fertilizers applied to killing unwanted predators during pre stocking management before stocking or starting of the culture of fish we can use or apply nitrogenous fertilizers to kill unwanted predators ammonium sulfates used as additive fertilizers during culture period during culture period ammonium sulfate can be used as a additive fertilizer then the application of these fertilizers like urea super phosphate for rearing ponds having a range of 40 to 80 kg per hectare at every 15 to 20 days interval for stocking pond we can use 200 kg per hectare per year we can also use some micronutrients these micronutrients are required in presses these are micronutrients we can use in a presses or required in a presses these are mixed with other fertilizers and applied in the pond so by applying different type of fertilizers a pond can make fertile and automatically we can increase the production of the fish so this is about the inorganic and organic fertilizers and this is one of the point main point are one of the main steps in the pond maintenance or construction of the construction and maintenance of the fish farm so once again thank you for watching this video and if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you